Hey guys, good morning. How are you all? So first of all, wish you all a very happy new year. And uh, with new year, there comes a deadline. So first January is the deadline to pay annual subscription fees of ACCA. So make sure in case you haven't paid it yet, you do it immediately. Otherwise, you need to pay extra charges. So to avoid all the extra charges, to guide you a bit as to how you have to pay this particular fees, I have come up with this particular video. So first of all, guys, how do we know as to how much we have to pay in the subscription fee? Ma'am, this is my first year and I don't know how much I have to pay. So can you please let me know how much do I have to pay and how can I, you know, get to know as to what is the amount. So first step will be to log into my ACC account. Just log in my ACC account, you will get to know. Ma'am, what if I don't know the login, you know, I don't have the my ACC account. I am the new one. I just want to calculate my budget. I just want to see how much ACC charge. Then how can I, you know, uh, know the charges and fees? So you go to my ACCA, you go to Google, you search for the fees and charges of ACCA. You will land up on this particular page. Okay. Now, in this, you can just mention your country, let's say India, and you can search. Fine. There you will get to know as to how much you have to pay in case you have still not started your ACC journey and you want to know the fees. So, affiliates, let's say you are an affiliate, so subscription fee would be $149. So, in case you want to know the uh, registration fees and everything, you can just search on this particular page. Fine. So, this was the step number one for students who doesn't have any bank ACC account and want to know and want to do a bit of budgeting as to how much costly ACCA would be and they want to know the subscription exemption fees and annual charges fees. So this is the right page for you. Okay, now coming on to the second category of people who have my ACC account and are paying annual subscription for the first time. Okay, so this basically video is for the students who are paying for the very first time. They have no idea as to how I should pay. And this is also for students who are paying through credit card. There is some piece of information that I will be sharing at the end of the video. So make sure you watch it till end. Now, coming on to the category who are paying for the very first time, you need to log in to your My ATC account. How will you do it? You will search My ATCA on Google. You will enter your username and password. You will land up on this particular page. Actually, you will land up on dashboard. You need to click fees and transaction. Okay. As soon as you click it, you will see this particular statement. And if you open this transaction summary, you will come up with this particular page. Fine. So you will come up with this particular page. Now, since I have paid my subscription fees already, there is no open transaction for me. Okay, but there will be an open transaction for you and you need to click it. Fine, you need to click it and there will be an option here highlighting in red pay now. As soon as you click pay now, you will be landed on a page where you have to enter your card details. You have to enter your card number, the date, the till which it is valid, your name, and uh, then of course CV, CV, right? And then you will receive an OTP. You will enter that OTP, and finally your uh, payment will be paid. And this is how it will show as a closed transaction. After you make the payment, make sure there is a closed transaction in your account. Otherwise, there may be a error, there may be an issue with your transaction, okay, international transaction. So make sure that there is a closed transaction in your transaction summary. 
Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 1st January is the last date. So that is the reason I actually published this video. Apologies for the delay due to Christmas, New Year and whatnot. I could not make this particular video earlier, but I hope it was helpful for you guys. Now, there are a lot of DMs uh, in my, you know, Instagram. Ma'am, can I use this method? Ma'am, can I use my credit card? Ma'am, can I use my debit card? Ma'am, can I pay through PayPal? Can I, uh, you know, what are the ways that I can pay uh, the subscription fees? Then you need to get back to the ACCA website. May just mention on Google how to pay ACCA fees. You will land up on this particular page. There are different methods that you can use to pay your subscription fees. First of all, your credit card, your debit card, Alipay, PayPal, Unipay, okay, bank transfer. They have even given you the bank transfer so you can actually transfer directly to their banks. Alternative methods. So there you can actually see, you know, uh, yeah, see, this is a method that I have told you. So you can just see over here, now, this is the most underrated, this is the most unaware topic among students that you can pay your subscription fees in parts. Okay, so make sure you are watching this video as to how you can make a part payment in case you are from low income or you are, you know, do not have enough finances to pay it at one go. You can pay in parts. They allow you part payments. I know many students are unaware. So make sure in case you want to opt for part payments, you watch this video. In case you are still not clear, write an email to students or uh, ACCA that can you please guide me on the same. Fine. Now comes for the third category of people who are actually, you know, willing to pay uh, through credit card. This was the first time that I paid through credit card. And I just want to show you something. Just a minute, guys. Okay. This was the first time that, you know, actually I paid through my credit card. And I don't know how many of you have already paid through credit card or how many of you actually know this already. But this was the first time. So actually there were two things that were lead on my transaction. First of all, the markup free and the IGST. So in case you are paying for the debit card from the debit card, there may be five to six hundred rupees extra that you need to pay due to these two charges that is marker free uh, marker fee and IGST. I searched it on Google IGST is 18% and marker fees on the credit card transactions for an international transaction. Okay. So this was it for this particular video. Please let's help others. Please tell, uh, let me know in the comment section as to how did you pay and were there any extra charges that you have to pay uh, let's say, for example, you paid it through debit card. So, uh, did you pay anything extra? Like, in my case, I paid 600 extra due to the credit card transaction. So, did you pay anything extra? So, which method did you use? Was it convenient? Did you face any difficulties? Guys, I want this video to help others. Please be interactive in comment section please let me know in the comment section everything or every difficulty or challenge you face so that other students can avoid them those mistakes or challenges okay so thank you so much for watching this video this was it for a, this video and i hope it helped you guys so thank you so much guys see you in the next video Bye bye